everyone welcome back to another tutorial of salesforce makes sense this is manchu and we are continuing our lightning web components masterclass right in the last tutorial what we looked at was how to edit a record right but with a set given set of fields now similar to the view form we want a custom layout for editing our fields what do we do instead of using output field the simple change is that we use lightning input field all right so we can use lightning record edit form here similar to the view form and we can allow custom fields are our choice for of our choice for the user to edit it how do you allow custom fields you don't have to define a fixed set of list or you know array of strings but you can define each field using the lightning input field and because you are using the input field it will be available for the user to edit okay so this will allow user to input values to a field make sense cool so let's give it a try using an example all right i am on vs code and i'll just go ahead and commit these changes first of all stage all of this is available on one second there's something that's not saved okay let's save it and now let's say deploy sync cool done so edit record using record form is done we'll just get rid of all of this and now i'll say i want to create a new component edit record with custom layout yeah so i'm going to use a custom layout here i'll just quickly go ahead and take this targets and copy it in my new meta file and i'll also choose to take the lightning card and just use it here cool we'll get rid of the lightning record form because we are going to use the lightning record edit form because we are going to do an edit record form with custom layout to edit all right let's go ahead and say deploy sorry i clicked the wrong button i'll say deploy should deploy fine let's go to the browser let's refresh yeah there's some issue on the dev editions org maybe it's taking some time which is the problem but okay that's okay we'll wait now while that happens if it's not getting deployed it's fine my use case is basically to be able to edit a record with custom fields right or mean like a custom layout right i don't want the static layout that the record form is giving us i want a custom layout that i can create myself right with some fields so what you guys already know is that we can do a sldes grid correct using that sldes grid we can create some sldes columns inside that sldes column i can define lightning input field this is the field okay and i just have to give it the field name this is what we know correct so this is what we can do and this is what we have to do right so in order to be able to use lightning input or output field i need to use the lightning record edit form correct so what does lightning record edit form ask from us it asks those important information what is going to be the record id what is going to be the object api name and now that we have the fields in a custom layout i'm not going to define the fields here okay i'm going to simply just you know give them the record id and the object api name so the record id is going to be the record id i take from the url and the object api name i'll take it from let's say a variable okay before we jump further i'll just go ahead and define these two and i hope you already know at the rate api record id is what we need i'll go ahead and import it very quickly and then the second thing is that the object api name is equal to let's say case done so far so good looks good let's deploy nothing fancy nothing fancy all straightforward but i'm only showing you all possible variants of the lightning data service because tomorrow if you have a use case wherein you have to take a call that what should i do should i go apex should i just go LW, lds or should i you know uh, do like you know some other concept that I, i'm going to teach you very soon okay great so this was our previous component i'll just go ahead and say edit page 
and here I should see edit with custom layout so I'll just go ahead and get rid of this and I'll bring in my new component record form with custom layout to edit yeah save cool done now I'm going to go back and this is where I have to define my lightning input fields it's not listed yet but input field yeah so if you see when I hover over it I see all the information what is the I have to give the field name which is the API name okay I can make it required I can give it a value I can give it a variant I can define a SLDS class all of that can be done okay so I'll just give it a field name for now and that field name is going to be case number okay and I'll just create four such input fields case number origin reason status let's do one more or let's do two more subject and then type right this is all my fields and they are embedded within the lightning record edit form all right let's go ahead and do it a deploy do a deployment and just see how things look like done let's go back to the org let's say save let's go back and now if you notice you have all of this available and you can actually edit it all right you have this record form and you have all the fields showing up in the edit mode and it is giving you the reason the status the subject all and it is giving you it in the order that you have you know put it on the layout so if you had to like you know do a two column so what would you do you simply create a grid with a column size one of two and just define it makes sense you could do that all right so this is your way and the case number being a formula or an auto generated number is not available for edit but it is on the layout and it's giving you the value from the record id make sense if i were to go to let's say another record which is like another case record so if i just go to let's say 1010 you'll see that this information is again relative to the record that we've opened cool all right so i think that's what i wanted to talk about in this video and the last thing the edit form takes care of form submission and error handling automatically so half of the work is already done for you so again like the record form like the 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 beauty of lightning data services that it does not ask you for any custom code to handle any logic unless you want to unless you want to right so if you have to just save something you can save it and it will take care of you know saving it in the back end you don't have to write any logic if if there are errors to be thrown it will take care of that as well okay if there are errors to be thrown it is going to take care of that as well if there are uh, let's say validations to be done from the standard you know whatever validations you have they are going to be run as well all right cool that's all i wanted to cover in this particular tutorial in the next one we'll look at how to use lightning messages to display errors in the same form that we have worked on the same form in case there's some error how do you display them okay cool great i'll talk to you in the next one bye